Halo 4, Modern Warfare, the way Halo 4 was meant to be played. The developers of Halo 4 already kind of wanted it to be Call of Duty, so now it actually is Call of Duty. And here we are in Halo 4 Call of Duty. As you can tell, it's Halo 4, but somebody, somehow they imported the Call of Duty guns and the animations. I didn't know the animations were here. That's a classic. That two-handed, like, pistol pull out, that's a classic. That's a classic switching to your weapon. Switch it to your pistol. It's faster and reloading. It's a little bit dark. It's very dark in this environment. Did the plasma rifle get an upgrade? Are you a different uh, gun? I can't pick it up, so I guess not. Maybe only Unska guns are Call of Duty guns. That would make sense, because the Unska is Call of Duty, basically. They got that bullet. Can I aim down sight? Yep, it's weird though. It's aiming down sight with the halo aim button. Not the left trigger. Because left trigger is probably grenade. Yep. That's the halo control scheme. It's weird to play halo with call of duty models. With also the halo control scheme. It's very strange. Every time I listen to a gamer guy. They're like, yeah, for halo, I, uh, I swap the controls around for halo to make it call of duty. I'm just gonna say it. If you're using left trigger to aim in Halo, you're playing the game wrong. That's not that's not how you do Halo. That's not how it's meant to be. You gotta click the stick. Click that stick in. Yeah, I put I put grenade on right bumper. Boo. Everyone knows grenade is left trigger. That's where grenade goes in Halo. Why simplify your life by only having to remember one button layout? when you could have a different one for every game that mildly disorients you every time you start a new game. Don't worry, Cortana. We'll find a solution for your rampancy. Also, Bumper Jumper? Yeah, Bumper Jumper's good. I don't need Bumper Jumper because I have the paddle. I got that paddle on the back of my Xbox Super Duper controller. So I have jump mapped to one of the paddles. But if you don't have paddles, then Bumper Jumper is a pretty good way to go. Gotta have quick access to jumping. Gotta be able to jump, jump, jump. I got reload and I got jump. Sometimes I consider putting melee on there, but I'm like, man, nah, melee's fine. All right, call of duty time. Let's do it. Hostiles. Rock and roll, Private Jackson. <laughs> it has the hit marker. It has a blue hit marker because Master Chief is blue UI. It's pretty good. So the M16 slash M4 is just the uh, that's just the battle rifle probably, which is not in Halo. No, the battle rifle's in Halo 4. What am I saying? It just looks weird. The battle rifle's in Halo 4. It just looks wrong. They made it all silver. It's got a yellow stripe. Please come here, ghost. Ghost. It's me, ghost. I'm ghost from Modern Warfare. I gotta take you ghost from Halo. Who would win? Ghost from Halo or ghost from Modern Warfare? Looks like ghost from Halo wins. Need a plasma pistol. Might be kind of hard to take down a ghost with no PP gun. Hostiles. Hitman has the poop gun. Halo has the PP gun. What does Call of Duty even have? Did they die in one hit from that? Holy crap. This thing can't even kill a COD zombie in one hit, but the Covenant, no problem. The Covenant sucks. You just don't even get in the car. The car is mine. Welcome to my Halo Call of Duty mod showcase where I just use the vehicle and don't use the Call of Duty gun. It's a never-ending struggle. Because do I, do I use only the Call of Duty guns and show off the mods many capabilities and have people in the comments go, this guy can't play Halo, or do I play Halo kind of good, even though I did die on normal to a ghost, so I guess my Halo skills are questionable at best. You know what, sniper guy? That's the wrong button. 
I just had a whole tirade about, oh, you gotta, you gotta use that button for the grenade. But since it's the, it's the Call of Duty weapon model, the fact that it's a COD weapon model is messing me up. Normally, I would never accidentally throw a grenade in Halo. I played this game on release day, guys. I played Halo 4 the day it came out, the whole campaign. One of my friends said, get it, and I was like, okay. And now I have a scar. The Modern Warfare 2 scar. The superior one. The stupid Modern Warfare 3 scar, dude. That scar sucks. I don't suppose you have a plan for that. I like it when the guns have a unique color. I like it that the Modern Warfare 2 scar is tan. The scar for Modern Warfare 3 just being another gray one is like, oh wow, that's really good. And in Modern Warfare 2, the AK has that weird like tan accent on it for no reason. And in Modern Warfare 3, like, nah, it'll also be all black. Infinity Ward is ruining Call of Duty. I miss when Raven Software had a support studio. They still do. Sooner or later, it is every game studio's destiny to become a Warzone support studio. What's up, heisters? Dear heisters, we are so sorry that Payday 3 wasn't good. Uh, thanks for buying it, though. Master Chief's weird, like, Halo 4 armor. Looks pretty good with the COD gun, actually. His oddly polygonal forearm. Let's knife him. Knife him. Yeah, knife him in COD. Does he have a knife? What the? I got super combined. Okay, we'll just we'll just focus on the Call of Duty aspect because the skilled gameplay is clearly not an issue. My skill has been demonstrated to be lacking. I haven't played Halo 4 in a while though. I was playing Master Chief Collection every single day for like a year until I unlocked literally every cosmetic in the game. Then I was kind of like, well, what do I do now? Is that a reflex sight? Ooh, ooh, now it's good. Game got good. Dot's too big though. That dot's too big, unfortunately. I hate, I hate to say it, I hate to be that guy. That's not how the dot should look. I'm just calling it like I see it. Just like Sergeant Foley would want. Arbiter, why do you sound like Sergeant Foley? That's an epic voice actor joke for you. Crap, gotta reload. You should import some Modern Warfare 2 maps. I want Terminal on Halo. Is there Terminal on Halo yet? Oh, I'm gonna get Super Combined again. Oh no. It's fun to use Modern Warfare 2 weapon models and have the hip fire actually work. It's a good combo. Because in Modern Warfare 2, you gotta aim down your sights. That dot looks like nail polish on plastic. Yeah, it's not that convincing. They gotta find the red dot PNG that they use in the game. Sword guy. Did he, did he die from that? Oh my god. I am on normal. I shouldn't be shocked how little of a challenge the Covenant is on normal difficulty. Remember, no Sangheili. Remember, no hinge heads. I love Spartan Sarah Palmer's remarks about the Covenant. Spartan Sarah Palmer probably every day. She goes home after a long, hard session of commanding Spartan Ops to capture this building over and over again. And she just sits down with a pen and pencil, and she just comes up with as many slurs for Covenant as she can. I'll run a soft patch to That's what makes her the best Covenant Halo character. Remember, Arbiter. There's that phantom signal again. When they attacked the Halo Reach city. Well, elites weren't there, though, in Halo Reach. And Halo Reach just got brutes. I heard something that no, there was elites in Halo Reach. What am I talking about? That's Halo 3. I'm getting all my Halos confused. There's too many Halos. Why'd they make so many Halo games? Sentinels. 
I wondered when they'd show up. Are those sentinels? They look like, uh, like not a sentinel. Oh, the sentinels killed the grunt for me. Thank you, sentinel. Maybe the forerunner weapons are cod weapons. There, chief, a console in the. I did see in the mod page on Steam that the intervention replaces the Unska sniper. So I'm hoping there will be an Unska sniper in one of these levels. I don't remember if level two or three have an Unska sniper in them, but I'm hoping it does. Also, you can play this in multiplayer. You can play Halo 4 multiplayer with Call of Duty guns, which it, that, that, I was joking before, but Halo 4 multiplayer with Call of Duty guns, that actually is how Halo 4 was meant to be played. That was the intention of the developers. That's not even a joke. I'll put them up for you. Remember, switching to your energy sword is faster than reloading your brute shot. I mean, the brute shot has a really strong melee too, though. Brute shot's pretty good. It's got a knife on it. The meta from Red vs. Blue is his preferred weapon. That guy was cool until they had 10 seasons explaining his lore, and that kind of sucked. My shield. That's true, there's no shields in Call of Duty. He should, he should have taken away the shield and just had regenerating health. That would have been Call of Duty. Is that a Modern Warfare remastered inspect? Oh, what? Come on. Stupid forerunners. Booby trap on your bridge. That was a Modern Warfare Remaster Inspect, I think. Does that mean that these models are from Remaster? Are the animations from Remaster? I don't, this model looks kind of low detail. It might just be the Halo lighting is not playing nice. But it kind of looks like the model from Modern Warfare 2 Classic. Like that looks like the model from Modern Warfare 2 Classic. But if they have the Inspect animation, then it might have been ported from the Remaster. We need a Call of Duty expert. We need speed rooftops in here to enlighten us. The thumbnail for this video needs to be the COD Tuber thumbnail with the inspect looking up at a halo ring. Yeah. Gotta have the weapon inspect and like rainbow text going most insane prestige. There are people whose whole YouTube channel is just buying every cosmetic for Call of Duty and making a video called The New Nicki Minaj is Insane. Unlike good channels like Oboe Games, where I play a Halo mod and go, The New Halo mod is insane. Yes. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. The new Steam demo for a game that you can tell isn't good by the thumbnail is insane. That's a frag situation right there. That was a plasma, not a frag. I kind of wish the plasma made the Semtex sound. That'd be good. Halo Force has the craziest mod released. Craziest mod for Halo Force came out on Steam. And it puts guns for Call of Duty in Halo 4. This is one of the most insane mods I've seen. I love the detail of the weapon model. What do you think about the guns in Halo 4? Let me know in the comments. All the way over there atop his perch. Try to snipe me. What's more accurate at long range? A ACOG M16 from COD 4? Or COD, is this the Modern Warfare 2 M16? It might be. I can't really tell. I think it's the Modern Warfare 2 one, right? I don't remember. Probably the Call of Duty gun is more accurate because Call of Duty is like hit scan. The Halo battle rifle is shooting projectiles and Halo battle rifle has some crazy spread on it in Halo 3. In some of those Halo games, the battle rifle really should aim a little bit straighter than it does. It varies on a game to game basis. That's it. 
Now quick, to the I don't think that's what the ACOG looked like in Modern Warfare 2. It had like a red stripe on it, right? It had a little red accent in Modern Warfare 2. I gotta find some good lighting. But see, you say that, but also, this is not what the red dot looks like in Modern Warfare 2. This is definitely the Modern Warfare 2 scar. But that red dot is not right. I'm pretty sure on the Modern Warfare 2 scar, the red dot is tan. I think it matches. In Modern Warfare 2, the red dot matches your gun. And don't even get me started on the tar red dot. That red dot is crazy. Let's get to that terminus and find Infinity. Master Chief, get up. We are leaving. What do you know about Infinity? Not much. She was Infinity? Infinite master. Warfare? That game was okay. Only left. It's funny that Infinite Warfare got the most downvotes ever on YouTube, and then it turns out the campaign's really good. Just goes to show you that gamers are stupid. Not all gamers are stupid, you know. Not the people that watch Oboe Gaming. If you're watching this video stream, you're not a stupid gamer. But if you watch Call of Duty Warzone All Skins, New Skins, Revealed and Ranked, then uh, maybe you might have an issue there. What do you want me to do, stand in this? I should've listened to Torkana's cutscene. I can't even say Cortana now. I wonder if Microsoft will ever rebrand Cortana as something else. Will they ever be like, uh, Cortana takes too long to say. So, uh, we're gonna call her, like, Court. This is now the Court AI. Man, Call of Duty is the same game every year. They should spice it up. Okay, we spiced it up. We put it in space. No, not like that. That's not what I meant. I meant make Modern Warfare 4, duh. Oh, okay, but let's, let's call it Ghost, though. Is it okay if we call it Ghost? No, it's not okay if you call it Ghost. Ghost sucks. You gotta call it Modern Warfare. Okay, what if we reboot it and we just call it Modern Warfare? Yeah, that, that works. That's fine. Put a level where you shoot a baby, though. That's important. Ooh, here we go. This is the Modern Warfare 2 one, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Was oh, it silenced? It's not silenced. Why does it sound silenced? That's weird. That's a bit strange. Is that how it sounds in the remaster? Maybe these are the remaster sound effects. Because these are not how it sounds in the original 2000s release. Being in Halo confirmed. I meant while they renamed Cortana on the computers. But I guess it's funnier if Cortana in the Halo franchise gets renamed the weapon. What should your name be the weapon? How about Bing? Okay. Bing. The Covenant is nearby. Give me a list of local restaurants with four stars and up. I dodged. Banshee. I don't get it. They'll use that against you. Enemy purple Banshee above. Call me Clippy, Chief. That'd be great. If Cortana renamed herself to Clippy, that would save Halo. That's all I gotta do. One simple step to save Halo. There's not really a Halo tuber voice. There's not very many Halo tubers. There's like two or three like Halo tubers. Because people, uh, about a decade ago, people were like, mm, Halo looks to be a sinking ship with this game's release, actually. They're like, eh, maybe I should hop off Halo. Maybe Call of Duty's the way to go for longevity on a YouTube page. I respect Halo tubers, though. I have respect for them. They're sticking with Halo, even when Halo's not sticking with them. When Master Chief Collection modding came out for Halo, like the Steam Workshop, they're probably off, thank God. Thank God I can make a video on this instead of being like, Halo Infinite is uh, still bad. So, day 523 of Halo Infinite content. The game is still not good. Tune in tomorrow for more daily updates.
The Spaz is one of the few shotguns, the Modern Warfare 2 Spaz, I should say, where we got nerfed. The Modern Warfare 2 Spaz is one of the few shotguns that can rival the Halo Unsco shotgun. Both classics in their own right. What is that Banshee doing? That Banshee's going crazy over there. Where's my shield, hello? There it is. That took a while, huh, Covenant? I thought it would never come back. They call me Sandy Ravage. Fear the wrath of my Duke Nukem voice line. I can totally see Master Chief rocking a Spaz 12. He would do that. Chief, the Covenant net's going crazy. There I always wanted like a Halo campaign where there's some in, there's a mission where you fight insurrectionists and they have like AKs and then you can like a uh, Noble Six and have an AK-47 for the whole campaign and there'll be an achievement, like a bring the gnome to the end of the game type achievement. The achievement is you brought the AK to the whole Halo. That'd be fun. Oh, we got over here, we got scars. We got M4 ACOGs, pistol again. The thing about this building, the thing you gotta know about this building in Halo 4 is that in the in Spartan Ops, every single mission that takes place on this building is god awful. There's like five of them, they're so bad. Some of the worst Spartan Ops take place on this building. And there's like three good Spartan Ops total out of 50, so. It's pretty brutal out there. It's pretty it's pretty slim pickings for good Spartan Ops levels, but Spartan Ops is good, but it's really bad. It is good, and I wish they kept doing it for future Halos, but also it sucks. I remember, I'm so old, I remember when Halo Spartan Ops came out and it was like weekly slash monthly content and it took longer and longer between Spartan Ops drops. I mean, my friends would be playing Modern Warfare 3, but oh dude, hang on, hang on, we gotta hop on Modern Warfare 3. The new Spartan Ops dropped. We gotta see this story. And we would all watch this story of like one arm Captain Halsey and Sarah Palmer arguing. And Captain, Captain Hall, not Captain Halsey. Dr. Halsey is like, the Covenant has some interesting science. And Sarah Palmer's like, kill them all. Cut their heads off and put them on Spike's Crimson. Good times, good times. We're about to have our hands full. The elites just issued a general order. They're moving all ground. A ODSD campaign that's more like COD wouldn't be too out there. Yeah, they could do that. They can make an Odsta campaign where you play as an actual Odsta instead of a Spartan. It's kind of lame how the Odsta in Halo can just do everything Master Chief can. Like, how does that Odsta have a super jump? How's he, like, one-handing the rocket launcher? I think it looks pretty heavy. Although normal Marines do that. Normal Marines one-hand the rocket launcher. I want to aim down that red dot sight, though. On the odds to SMG, they got that awesome red dot sight. I want to use it. I want to aim down that thing, but you can't. All it does is your visor zooms in. It's like, oh man, missed opportunity. Ah, uh, Modern Warfare 2 UMP. You were never bad. Modern Warfare 3 UMP is okay. It's all right. But Modern Warfare 2 UMP is like best in class. It can't top that one. MP5 is okay. But UMP, that's the one you want. Give me a silence UMP on high rise and I will show you at least a five kill streak. Holy crap. Yeah, no chance. No shot versus the power of the 2009 military. Die, Hunter. Halo needs a cliffhanger equivalent? I agree. They got some snow missions. Does Halo 4 have a snow part? I don't know if it does. Ideally, I would play a snow mission in Halo with Modern Warfare 2 guns, but does Halo 4 have snow in it at all? Oh, 
classic garbled transmission. Try using your words, Captain Del Rio. I wonder if it's related to whatever the Covenant are after. Surrender that AI. What? Or sure, I'm not from sea. If you go surrender that AI, what are you saying, Captain? I can't understand you. I think I hit a loading zone there. Sever your leg, please, Chief. It's the greatest day. Cortana. This blubbo just asked me to sever my leg. Better do what he says, Chief. Might be the only way to stop the Covenant. Ba 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 ba. Where will the elevator lead? Hopefully to a fun and exciting new place. Hopefully not to a mission full of those orange guys. I hope those orange guys don't show up. He should replace the orange guys with bad guys from Halo. Not Halo, Call of Duty. He should replace the orange guys in this game with the Spet Stans from Modern Warfare 2. That'd be a good swap. Oh no. A mission of orange guys. Well, were those things? hopefully the orange guys will be easy to kill. Because these guns are really strong versus the Covenant. So hopefully it kills the orange guys just as good. We'll find out. Come on, let's figure out where that transit system dumped us. Put me in the console. Get in there. Be sure to display yourself standing on top so I know you're there though. This is Be sure to visually represent where you're standing. Is definitely not here. Cortana. I'm going through a portal. This is the first pylon. <laughs> Negative. This is as close as I could Great get. line, Chief. Hope you don't mind hoofing it a little. Love the more talkative Master Chief in Halo 4. This is the first pylon. Contacts. Bungie Master Chief would have never said this is the first pylon. 343 ruined Halo forever. I'm a Halo 4 campaign hater. I think the Halo 4 campaign sucks, except for that one elephant mission. That one's good. The Halo 4 multiplayer is fun. It's nothing like Halo 3 and Reach, but it's good in its own way. I'm, I'm a firm enjoyer of Halo 4 multiplayer. It's just not exactly what people were wanting. I forgot that the orange guys are blue. He's got to turn them orange. I just wonder what Ganon's up to. I can't wait to bomb some Sangheili. Sorry, Chief. I can't give credit. That's what happens when you try to buy Master Chief's helmet in Halo Infinite. Sorry, Chief. I can't give credit. Come back when you buy more mm, tokens. They're connected, all right. I should have watched the first episode of the new Halo show before streaming this. I could have given my review analysis. I didn't watch it yet. I kind of don't want to. I kind of don't feel like going through the effort of pirating that because I'm not going to pay for Paramount Plus. I don't care that much. I know it's going to be bad. Sky Captain 5 said that the first two episodes are good, which they could be. He said they were definitely better than season one. But like, a Burger King Whopper is better than season one of that show. And a Burger King Whopper is something I would never eat. Was Halo 2, season two, episode one, good? Let me know in the comments. Anybody watch that? Anybody on here on Twitch hate themselves? Discovered something interesting about our new friends. When the, big <laughs> the chat blows, crickets chirping in chat. Dot 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 dead silence. Yeah, come on, I know one of you guys did. Don't be embarrassed. So far, I, I only make fun of you a little bit for watching it. That, though, um yeah, give me the red dot scar. It's probably good. Although the good thing about the Modern Warfare 2 scar is the iron sights are so crispy clear. You don't really need the red dot. You can save an attachment slot for extended mags. 
I watch IGN's recap of season one and I'm happy I never watched it. Okay, that doesn't count as the opposite. That's the opposite of watching season two. No, I didn't watch season two, but I also didn't watch season one. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the insight. Appreciate it. Got any space theme survival crafting games to recommend while we're at it? Something that'll take my breath away. Something that'll put me on the edge of my seat. What's this curse game? It's Halo 4 original developer build. Before somebody from Microsoft was like, you guys are supposed to make Halo. And they're like, oh, we made Call of Duty though, because like Call of Duty is like the popular game. And Microsoft said, yeah, make Call of Duty, obviously, but like at least put a Halo gun in there. And they're like, ugh, fine. I guess we can put a Halo gun in there, but in Halo 5, we're gonna have reflex aim down sight for every gun. We're gonna have a hollow sight on the pistol in Halo 5, and you can't stop us. I'm asserting my dominance over anybody who has wasted time watching it. Yeah, it's true. It was a big waste of time. The Halo show was not the greatest usage of my limited grains of sand in the old hourglass of life. Wish I could take back those particular grains. Oh well. Live and learn. You know, guys, I've been around the block of life a couple of times, and one thing that I'm learning in my old wisdom is that video game adaptation as a show or movie won't be good. It took me till I was 85 to realize this. Except Last of Us show was kind of good. It was okay. That's the only one, though. The Last of Us show is different because Last of Us game was already a HBO show. They already made a HBO show into a game. It's like if you made The Wire the game, and then HBO made The Wire the show, and you're like, wow, this, it translated really well. It's like, yeah, because they already made it. They kind of wanted to make a show instead of a game, you could argue. You could argue that Last of Us 1 wanted to be a show more than it wanted to be a game. I played that game on the PS3. That was not pleasant. The Last of Us graphics were very good for PS3 when they came out, but also like one day later, PS4 came out with that new Killzone. It was like, oh, that new Killzone's graphics look really good compared to crappy Last of Us. Also, that new Killzone sucks. That new Killzone is awful. Continuing the legacy of the Killzone franchise by having terrible campaigns. Bite me in the comments, Killzone fans. Those games suck. Killzone 3 did not suck because I played it with the gun controller and that was funny. But if I played it with mouse and keyboard, not mouse and keyboard, if I played it with a PS3 controller, I probably would not have liked it as much. But dude, the, the, the stupid, the stupid lag on Halo, not Halo 2, too many games, too many gaming games, too many exactly the same games. The input lag on Killzone 2 campaign is just, it's, it's like unplayable. Like, it's actually unacceptable how bad it is. And then people in the YouTube comments like, uh, it's, uh, it's on purpose? Actually having a full, like, half second of input lag for the entire game is on purpose to give the gunplay a more weighty feel? Like, guys, it's, it's not a more weighty and realistic feel. It's the guy doesn't turn right when you tell him to turn right. So yeah, not a big kill zone fan over here. I still gotta play Resistance 3. Never got around to that one. Resistance 1 the Resistance 1 was not good, but it was like not good in the way for like when it came out, like what when it came out about 2005, 2006, one of those years. It was not good in the same ways that like every shooter back then, every console shooter back then was not good, so it was fine. I was like, yeah, this game sucks, but like for the time it released, it's like pretty average, pretty standard. And then Resistance 2 came out, and Resistance 2 copied having big set pieces. So like, oh crap, Halo and Call of Duty got like a scarab battle. We gotta have one of those. So they put big set pieces in Resistance 2, but they still didn't make it good. And it's like, ooh, ooh, guys, ooh. You copied the presentation, but you're supposed to improve the gameplay as well. Nobody told you to improve the gameplay. Oh man, that's a, that's unfortunate. That's a shame. 
Of course you know all this if you've already watched every Oboshu's Games video. You already know my shooter opinions. And if you're 35 minutes into a Halo 4 VOD, you probably have seen them all. Which is why you're desperately scraping the bottom of the barrel. Well done, Chief. One, to go. One left. When do they turn orange? Do they turn orange after Didac pops out of his ball? After finally someone lets him out of his cage? Hang on, robot dogs. I gotta get my healed healed? I gotta heal my shield back. Bottom of the barrel gaming. Oh yeah, you're watching bottle of the barrel content. Bottle of the barrel? What am I what am I doing? What happened to my pronunciation? I must have hit my head when I woke up today. I must have stepped in a mouse trap and went e ouch and like fell over and hit the table. Chuck McGill style. Might be end of the barrel, yeah, that's true. It's a gun. End of the barrel kind of works for like a shooter content. Great, that's all the cores. Head for the top of the pylon. A video I posted, I don't even know when I posted that one, like 2018, 2017. It's like making fun of the COD World War II trailer. And one of the lines is, making fun of Call of Duty is the bottom of the barrel. Lobo Shoes Games is a failure of a channel. Whenever I make fun of Call of Duty, I remember that line. I'm like, yeah, it's not, it's not rocket science here. We're not doing groundbreaking stuff by making fun of Call of Duty, but I can't, I can't help it. I like Call of Duty too much to not make fun of it. I'm a COD fan, I'm a COD stan, what can I say? So people are saying that my critique of Modern Warfare is not very original, and they're saying that my Call of Duty Modern Warfare videos are not that good. But I think my Call of Duty Modern Warfare content is pretty good. So people think that Modern Warfare content... YouTube Shorts keeps giving me this guy who his whole gimmick is that he screams into his microphone about how bad uh, Warzone is, but he like, transcodes it or transcribes it or whatever to the Star Spangled Banner. And like all of his, uh, all his videos where he does that have like a million YouTube Shorts views. But then like on his channel, he has a bunch of like actual normal videos. Like I did a challenge, I played a video game. They have like one view. I'm like, oh man, this guy really uh, pigeonholed himself as the guy that sings a Star Spangled Banner COD parody. I can relate. As a fellow Call of Duty song parodyist myself, I empathize with his plight. Please go watch his videos. I don't know if they're good. I, I didn't watch them. I'm like, I'm not watching this guy's videos, but please go watch his videos. He needs help. No, I do not know the name of his channel. And I will not be linking it. They'll get caught in the gravity well. I'll keep trying to warn them. You just get that beam down. Pirate software is the king of shorts at the moment. Yeah, he's all over the place. He always grabs a microphone and pulls it close and he goes, listen chat, you can achieve your goal. If you think you can't achieve your goal, you can do it. And you're like, oh, that was, that was nice, that was inspirational. And you scroll up and it's like, fart poopy butt joke in World of Warcraft, what? I mean, this guy, this guy's got it all. This guy's got the waxing philosophic. He's got like a pet ferret. He has World of Warcraft developer story lore. He's got poopy joke. You can't stop him. That guy's unstoppable. A true renaissance man, yes. Hello, Covenant. The Covenant should be the, the Russian battleships that are in the New York Harbor in Modern Warfare 3. Mod author, if you're watching, do that, that'd be funny. You probably, I don't know if he can do that, but it would be hilarious. Oh yeah, the portal. Don't forget to go in the blue hole. Sounds like the Prometheans don't want the Covenant here either. The battle net's already lighting up with reports of resistance all around the pylon. Hmm, classic pylon. I feel like we're saying the word pylon too much, guys. 
I feel like in a sci-fi thing, you're allowed to say pylon like one time. Just try to avoid the use of the word pylon, honestly. It's not a good look. What are we doing now? Defending some kind of stupid pylon? Oh, we are? That's okay. Hmm. Great. But sometimes you gotta construct additional ones. Exactly, that's the problem. The term pylon got so overused by StarCraft that now nobody else can use it. Put an apple pie in the front yard. That's pretty good. Uh, man, you know I I can't stand that Master Chief guy because it has to be a what's what's the name of a guy from StarCraft? And what's what's the name of that guy? What's the name of the guy in StarCraft 2 that like has a cigarette and he's like, here we go again, all hail in the trailer? Does he have a name? He's like one of the uh, Marine guys. Jack Raynor. That sounds like you just made it up, but that probably is his name. Man, I can't stand Jack Raynor. I had a pie on the windowsill just the other day and he came and knocked it onto my lawn and now I have a pie lawn. Don't kill that Covenant. I want to kill that Covenant. Haha. Uh -huh. Kill streak. Oh, it's Jim Raynor? Oh, no. You got the name of the StarCraft 2 Marine guy wrong? I'm sorry, but there's no recovering from that. Shut up, Robo Turret. Get out of here. That dumb ball turret, that, that just sums it up, doesn't it? That stupid orange ball turret. Someone at 343 is like, what if there was like a ball that appeared in the air and shot a laser at you? Like what? We already, we have like a drone guy already. Yeah, but this will be more of like a ball. Okay, yeah, good, good, good. Well, we'll keep it as a ball for now, but eventually we'll go back and we'll make it into like an actual alien. We'll make it into an actual Covenant or a robot guy. Then one day before the game ships. Hey, uh, hey, Todd, did you ever, did you ever make that not a ball? Did you ever make it into a guy instead of just being a floating ball? Uh, I'm Todd Howard. I don't work at Halo. Oh, crap, you're right. Well, you do now. <laughs> you do now, idiot. Hey, Todd, put Master Chief in your star, man. When is the Starfield paid mods gonna come out? I wanna make a video. I wanna make a video called like, I bought every Starfield paid mod so you don't have to. Starfield paid mods are a ripoff? I'll become a Starfield hate channel. Those are easy. Become a Bethesda suck channel or a Bethesda news channel. Bethesda news channel, that's easy peasy. That's no problem. You just put a Skyrim boob mod in the thumbnail and you go, Skyrim's biggest update yet. And then it's just like a mod, like this mod added a grass to Whiterun. This is a crazy topic for my 20 minute video franchise. Heh <laughs> ball thing, Fran, oh God. I wonder if any new Tales in the Borderlands characters will be in the Borderlands film. I wonder if they were those two things like developed around the same time. And they were like, oh, it'd be great if we tie it in with our newest entry. Let's hope so. Let's hope Octavio is the main character. That'd be ideal. No Banshee for you. Banshee for me. AC-130 above, Covenant. You're going down. All right, what is the Banshee controls? I always forget. I never recall. Is it like one of these? Imagine a Banshee in Call of Duty. Banshee bomb. There's a banshee flying around terminal. Super boost. How is the banshee even good? Whenever you see a banshee in a cutscene, it's flying around like a jet. But then in gameplay, they go like as slow as a hover round. They deployed the Covenant and Grandma squad in their electric wheelchairs to fight Master Chief. That's weird, Chief. I'm picking up on the Covenant battle net. They didn't expect Earth to be here. They didn't expect the humans would be on Earth. They were sending all their Covenant grandmas to retire here. They thought this could be a nice retirement community.
10 minutes is where the ad money is on YouTube? Wrong, eh, wrong. Outdated information, pal. Eight minutes is where the ad revenue is these days. It just got changed from 10 minutes like two years ago. That's a old change. Take out the other two power cores and we can access the pylon. Not gonna lie though. When YouTube changed it from being 10 minutes is ad revenue to eight minutes is ad revenue, I was like, let's go. And my Borderlands funny moments dropped from being 10 minutes in one second to eight minutes in one second. Which it, it allowed for more uh, densely packed funny moments. Gotta hit that eight minute one second. I don't have too many videos that are eight minute one second. I do have a couple though. Any YouTuber should be ashamed to have an eight minute one second video, in my opinion. I'm shamed, I feel pretty shameful about it. Especially because in some of the old videos, I would like, the, the video would be like seven minutes long, then I would be like, uh, here's nothing for a minute, boop, 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 boop. But yeah, the three dollars in ad revenue are mine. <laughs> the marine guy from StarCraft II opening is actually called Tychus Findlay. That sounds more real. That sounds like more of a real name for him. Tychus. But what if I were to put filler at the end of the video and disguise it as real content? Delightfully devilish, Oboe. Really? I'm from Xbox, never heard the phrase, those things. Oh, it's more of a PlayStation expression, I see. And you call them those things, despite the fact that they are obviously robots. Uh, I uh, one thing I should. Lose shoes for a moment? Of course. Like thanking the Patreon, yeah. Subscribe to Obogo Gaming on Patreon so I can make the Patreon ending stream longer. It's all part of my sick plan. What is the mission here? Is this the covenant structure that's in the snow usually? Is this the Spartan Ops snow one? I think it is. The money is making itself, mm-hmm. If you buy a 99 cents YouTube uh, channel membership, or like just have YouTube premium in general, said YouTube channel that you watch, you, you automatically pay like 10 times every lifetime view you can possibly give them. Like if a YouTube channel has like a channel membership for like 99 cents and you buy one, and they get like 50 cents of it after YouTube's cut, like that 50 cents that you gave that channel is more money than you will ever hope to generate for them in your life of watching their videos probably, so. That's why you should subscribe to Oboe's channel memberships, which is why they're not on, on Oboe 2's. They don't, I, don't, I don't have them. Don't even think about showing your support. Tychus is smoking a cigar in his helmet. That's not good. That's a bad idea. Do I gotta kill this guy? Are you the barrier to my progression? If you want to delay my progress, fly around and shoot banshee bombs. Where's my objective, Cortana? Is it up there still? Is there still an A button to hit up there? I forgot this mission completely. All I remember is the end, where like the didact's in the giant ball. And he's like, Master Chief, come play a Marble Blast. And Chief is like, Marble Blast is pretty fun. Then they play Speed Halo. And they get along forever and ever the end. And the Didact has a multi-page book series redeeming himself that nobody read. Right, guys? Wouldn't it be super embarrassing to read Halo lore books? Ha 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 ha. Sure would be lame if you could uh, produce a concise summary of one of those off the top of the dome, which is why I won't be doing that. The only Halo lore book that's cool to read is the one, the Fall of Reach one, and the one with Sergeant Johnson on the cover. There's like 50 more besides those two. Wouldn't recommend it. 
They know we're here. Infinity, this is UNSC AI Cortana. Do not approach Forerunner Planet. Just watch that one, uh, Polygon? I think it's Polygon. That one Polygon guy who quit Polygon. He quit Polygon so he can make Polygon videos on college humor. He had that Polygon series where he's like, this is my, what if wacky gaming testing, haha. -ha. Then he was like, all right, Polygon, I don't feel like making those anymore. And now like three years later, college humor is like, hey, you want to do wacky gamer testing? And he's like, I guess. Won't this be just like the same exact thing that Rooster Teeth did though? Like Rooster Teeth had a whole several series, several season show about wacky gamer testing. And uh, they're Rooster Teeth, so. Yeah, but we, we think it's fine. College humor and rooster teeth are two peas in a pod, honestly. They're very similar. Similar trajectories. Already done. Go. Except college humor. Excuse me, game lag? I'm talking about college humor. Except college humor changed his name and started posting YouTube shorts. And they're like, look, we're we're relevant. We got a YouTube short now. So yep, you sure do. You guys have a subscription service that I gotta pay for? What the heck? What the heck, college humor? Huh? And he went on to Starfield, yeah. I'm quitting Polygon to go to Starfield, be an NPC in that hit game, the hit new franchise. Get spazzed, well, hang on, I gotta reload Covenant. Get spa oh, look at that, look at that, I love that. I love that animation, actually, what the heck? Shooting right after one shell's in, and it's like stays diagonal, that's, that's so good. I actually love that. I love messing up the shooting animation on a gun. Unska Infinity, this is Master Chief from Halo. Don't come to this planet. Uh, what? Huh? Land on the planet? Unska Infinity, this is Master Chief from Halo. They have a floating ball to right here. This planet is creatively bankrupt. Over. Do not land. RP, do not land. Uh, copy that, Chief. We're coming in for a landing. Deploying our weirdly redesigned Marine Squad to fight the robot dogs now. I tried to warn them. It's too late for them, Cortana. Oh, I just ran right into that. That could have been bad if it hit me. That should have hit me, but it didn't, which is nice. Kablamo. You should try slam firing an 1897 shotgun if you ever get the chance. I mean, if the opportunity ever presents itself to slam fire a shotgun, I'm gonna do it. I haven't done it yet. I think I would have by now, but I never got around to it. I need another gun as well. I need a firearm. Soap. I need a weapon, soap. So I need a bloody weapon. Channel meetup at a Denny's next to a firing range. I'm sure you can find at least a hundred of those. I'm sure there's at least 100 Denny's franchise locations that are within five minutes of a firing range. This is just like the last level. The last level is also you're just in like a forerunner land fighting a million guys. I mean, here's the thing. This campaign is not good. This campaign, I don't think is the best game ever, but it's just, it's still way better than like 99% of like console shooter campaigns. In terms of the console shooter, Halo 4 is still like a really good one, but for the Halo series, it's kind of bad. But like Kills Killzone Shadowfall campaign versus Halo 4 campaign, Halo 4 is way better. It's like not even close how much better the Halo 4 campaign is than Killzone Shadowfall. And Halo 4 again is not that good. Killzone Shadowfall is just really bad. There's a reason that Call of Duty and Halo were the biggest franchises of all time history. Because they were actually good. He 
You don't know what you have till it's gone. You're like, oh man. Halo sucks now. Flash forward 10 years. Halo, eh, the Halo Infinite campaign was okay. It was all right. It was okay, I guess. But the Modern Warfare 3 and the Modern Warfare 2 campaign, oh man. p -usa. They dared to ask the question, what if our games were fun? What if we had a fun game? That could be kind of cool. This is Sierra 117 of the UNSC Forward Under Dawn. Do you copy? Infinity, this is Sierra Mist. Copy that, Sierra Mist. We're going to rename you to Starry. Congratulations, you are now Starry, and you have like a cartoon lemon as your logo. Uh, negative, Unsco Command. I do not want to be renamed to Starry. That's stupid, and I hate it. Too bad, Chief. You're Chief. Starry now. Chief, let go of the contacts. Thanks for nothing, Pepsi Cola. Don't wait around on my account. Use your own account, Chief. Don't ruin my gamer score. Have a nice even gamer score. It's a nice even thousand. Don't be getting one of those five gamer score achievements and throwing it off. Is Shadowfall significantly worse than the rest of Killzone? No, it's the best. Eh? Again, I can't. I can't accurately judge uh, Killzone Three because I played it with motion controls. It's the best of the Killzone campaigns, and it's not good. Killzone and Resistance just—they don't got it, man. They just don't have it. Yes, look at my overly weirdly designed sci-fi armor. Remember when Halo had simple designs? Now it has floating bits. I am now from Warframe. I am Mr. Warframe Zombie. I heard you hated orange robot guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and make these guys orange. Even these beasts recognize what you were oblivious to. Shoot him in the head, Master Chief. Your nobility Shoot him. Has blinded you as ever. Shoot him with the battle rifle. Up oh, too late. Now I will force grab you. Why does he not kill Master Chief? How does Master Chief not get killed in this cutscene? I forget. Why does he not die? My own world against me. But what hubris. <laughs> Is he just making like multiplayer death sounds? I think Master Chief's just playing multiplayer damage sound. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't bring up hubris with me, Didact. I'm the king of hubris. I probably have more hubris than you do. If we're having a hubris off, I'm the reigning champion. Human. But now it has abandoned. The Forerunners have returned. I never knew Forerunners were vampires. This tomb is now yours. Remember when Forerunners were like a human guy? Remember when the Forerunners were like a mystery and they just had like weird architecture? It's like, wow, this is crazy. Now they're a weird vampire guy with ugly hair. Uh, a a chief? chief? That ball's gonna blow up. Oh, okay, so he, he, he said this tomb will be all gray over some stupid crap, and it's like, he'll probably die in the explosion, right? He's not wearing Master Chief armor that can fall from space and not die. He'll probably do it. Didact reference a librarian from Halo Infinite? No, the librarian's in this game. The librarian is like a lady that appears, and she goes, the Didact was my husband, and now I have to kill him. I will give you the power, Master Chief. Master Chief like hits A on like a console and he gets teleported to like a heaven realm and he goes, what is this place? Then the librarian appears and she's like, there's no time to explain what any of this means. I will now give you a high five and now you can kill the Didact, congratulations. When the Didact turns everybody into a skeleton, you won't become a skeleton. Okay, that's that's kind of useful, but again, what is, what is this place exactly? There's no time, there's no time to explain, Master Chief, I'm sorry. If only we had more time to explain what the heck was going on in this story. I mean, we, we do. No one is actively chasing us right now. My army guys are just sitting outside, waiting for me to come out of here. I'm sorry, Chief. There's no time. Please leave. He starts, like, fading out. You'll have to read the tie-in novels if you want to answer. 
always figure you have a hubris meter that fills up to get hubris, yeah. It's one of those meters that floats over my head at all times. This is cliffhanger-esque, you know, this is cliffhanger adjacent. Halo vehicle chases, not even chases, Halo vehicle escapes are always pretty good. They got some rock assets moving around. They got a couple different explosion gifs that play when you drive past them. Oh, there goes the Covenant. Sorry, Covenant, you took fall damage. Unfortunate. Sorry, Master Chief, you're, you're going through a tunnel. I, I'm going through a tunnel. You're breaking up. I can't explain the storyline to you right now. I'm very sorry. Oh, how, oh, how regretful. Oh, how sad. Cortana, I got turned around. How many giant gaps do they have? Maybe if we imprison the Didact on a giant chasm planet, he won't be able to survive because he'll always be falling into a giant chasm. He wakes up and he's like, wow, it took me 5,000 years to finally climb out of that chasm, but now I'm finally here and ready to invade the earth. And he like takes three steps. Oh no, another one. Ah! He just falls down another chasm. There's like 50 chasms between him and his ball spaceship. And he's like, ugh, this is gonna take so long. I hope the flood doesn't come back in the meantime. Uh, Chief, it's coming right for us. Just crouch. If you crouch, you'll be fine. This is worse than the time the Subnautica spaceship got shot down. Uh, just the armor lock. Yeah, duh. Pretty easy to survive. <laughs> Track its descent. Cortana, track the descent. Uh, okay, it's right in front of you. Thanks, Cortana. I wouldn't be able to find it without you. Maybe I should have asked Cortana to track that ball instead. I'm an evil ball. Bye. Where did it, wait, where did it go? What the heck? Where did the infinity go? Same place we are. Same place we are. It was right there. It was right there, and it was like a hundred feet from landing. It like vanished. <laughs> I thought it was gonna crash right there. It is despawned. Okay, that was Halo 4 Modern Warfare Campaign mod. This is a good mod, a good job person who made this mod. I'm looking forward to playing the full release so that I can use the intervention because that will be hilarious. <laughs>